I uh, want your real rankings, I don't know. though, of comets, meteoroid, mm. meteors, and asteroids. What's oh. your rankings? Okay, honestly, um, huh. actually, meteors are probably pretty far down the list now that we're really talking about it. Asteroids are clearly number one. There was a video game. It was fun back in the day. You can, like, land on an asteroid and, like, catch a ride somewhere and stuff. That's pretty awesome. Um, I feel like it's not impossible to live on an asteroid, you know, like, you know, Inside it, you like get a shovel and make some space for yourself. Not unlike an sort of like an igloo in the snow, but in space. I think that's scientifically proven. Um, so asteroids number one for me. I'm still going to go meteor two because it's a lot like an asteroid. Maybe it has a lot of the same characters. It's comets are three. They come around rarely and they don't actually ever. We can't actually come into contact with them. And if we did, we'd probably die. See, what that's, would you say? That, that's why I have comets number one. Because they're the they most mysterious. You? They mm. create the most tension in the scientific community. They inspire religious movements that end in mass suicide, which is much more interesting than anything an asteroid's Ooh. ever done, other than interesting point. Uh, you know, inspire other than the kill movie, all the dinosaurs. Inspire, yeah, that's and, nothing. And inspire the movie Talk Armageddon, about suicide. which is you know a movie about science and truth. Um, yeah. Meteors are clearly number three. They're, they feel pretty common, pretty just like oh yeah. I'm a basic bitch of a space thing. I don't, <laughs> I don't really mean anything. Oh, sometimes a little piece of me hits the earth and then a little kid finds me and is like, I'm an astronaut. And their parents are like, sure you are, John. I don't really care if y'all don't like me.